How's it going, Dazzlers? Welcome back to Daz Games. And it's been a long time since I've sat down and I've done like an update video. I know I should probably do it more, uh, so you guys are up to date with everything that's happening. But today, the, the main topic, like, is something that I didn't really want to make a video on. Um, I just wanted to have something of mine that was private. <laughs> But through countless live streams and my t all my social networks, it's not going to go away until I address it. So I kind of see now why other YouTubers, when they go through a breakup, etc. or a divorce, uh, they, they kind of talk about it. So I released a tweet, I don't know, what was it, like a month ago or something, uh, saying that me and Kate were broke up. Um, I was going to leave it at that. I didn't think I needed to make a whole video on the subject. I didn't want to make a video um, mainly because people would think, oh, he's just another YouTuber doing this for views. Like, he's using his breakup for views. <laughs> like, um, it's, it's what I think when I see other YouTubers do it, but I kind of get now why they do. And that was it. I, I talked a little bit about it briefly, not going into too much detail on my Instagram story. Uh, and I just left it at that. You know, I, I didn't want to make a video about it. I just wanted to say that we broke up. So there, was, there was no horrible reason for why. Like, no one cheated on each other. No one was domestically violent. No one was... All these weird things that a lot of... You know, I understand that 90% of my fans are just normal fucking people. But then there's that few percent that have to have a reason. And then if they don't find one, they've got to invent one. I've been on live streams. I've had people, like, say that, um, you know that I cheated or Kate cheated or it's like, where did you get this from? Do you know what I mean? <laughs> it's really, it's just so stressful and it's so dumb. But no, it, it ended mutually. Like we tried for a long time to make it work and we were arguing a lot. We just grew apart really is the only reason if you guys need a reason. Um, and that's what happened. And it was, it was mutual. We just decided to you know, call it days. We're still friends, you know, she still comes to the house. My home is still her home whenever she needs it. We're, we're, we're good friends, we're family, we have a daughter together. I feel it's very, very important to maintain a good relationship and a good friendship. Uh, and that's exactly what we're doing. People have even paid in my live streams to do like super chats and donations to make sure they get it read out by me because I don't like to ignore when people donate to the streams because it's, you know, it's support, isn't it? And they've asked like what the situation is, like the living situation is for like our daughter and stuff. And it's like, you don't deserve that information. Like this very, it's private. Like I, I like I say, 90% of my fans are just normal and supportive. But then there's the few that don't know boundaries. You know, these are the people that stick their arm through my window take a picture of my living room, you know, those sort of people. Sarah's fine. Like, our daughter is fine. She is definitely seeing the benefits of uh, me and Kate being apart. There, there are no arguments. We're good friends. Everything is, everything feels nicer, you know. It's unfortunate, but, you know, it's just, it's, sometimes it's for the best. It's for the best for everyone. And that's, that's what we were thinking. It's part of the reason why I'm, I'm making a video on it is because of all the rumors and stuff and people making shit up and, like, uh, you know, I, I don't want that to continue. You know, obviously I'm online and, you know, I'm single and people see me now with other girls and instantly they, they start making um, assumptions. They're like, oh shit, Daz is taking a picture with this girl. That's why he ended it. And it's like, that's my friend. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? And th to be fair, that sort of behavior from fans uh, is nothing new, to be honest. I... Remember, my first experience with this is when I met Marcia. Um, I met her on my ins I met her at this screening, this film screening at Warner Brothers. I can't remember what uh, film it was. It was a good film actually. And I, and I spotted her. I was like, "Oh shit, that's that's Marcia. I'm a huge fan. I, I speak to poods, uh, so you know, I'll, I'll go say hi." And I got a selfie with her, and I posted it out. And uh, um, for some warped reason, so many fans they they were like tweeting Felix and. Like, um, like, messaging me saying, oh my god, are they together now? Uh, why would she leave Felix for Daz? <laughs> like, I just took a picture with her. Where do you get this from? Do you know, and, and, and then, and then Kate, which is where I really felt for Kate, um, she would get all these messages from you guys, my fans, saying, did you know that Daz is out with such and such? Or, oh, Daz took a picture with, uh, Vanya Fernandez. She's such a dear friend of mine. She's like a little sister to me. 
And every time I take a fucking picture with her, this shit comes up. Even when I was with Kate, like, Kate would get messages um, saying, like, oh, Daz looks like he's definitely smashing Vanya. And we just took a picture together because we were at an event together. Do you know what I mean? She's my friend. And it's so frustrating. It's, I, you know, I've had to delete pictures now before because I just can't stand the comments. If they've got a vagina, basically I can't take a picture with them without there being a fucking conspiracy theory. It was really annoying and that happens even when I was with Kate. And I really felt for Kate then because she would have to put up with all these speculations and rumors based on like a picture with one of my friends happens all the time no matter who it is it doesn't matter who it is you know if i take a picture with a girl i'm doomed and i'm with them and there's a huge conspiracy and we've got a sex tape and <laughs> it just goes boom like no one can go oh that's cute no one could just be normal about it so there was that aspect of it as well like you know anything i do that's kind of a bit flirtatious or a bit you know People are like, oh my god, uh, and this is the other aspect of it as well, why I wanted to clear this up with you guys, because I'm gonna do things online, you know, sometimes that if you thought I was with Kate, then you'd message me saying, Daz, this is inappropriate, what about Kate? I keep getting a lot of those messages, but you guys obviously don't know that we parted, like, and I'm not out there doing anything majorly inappropriate, like, sometimes I make a joke or something, or say something about Jennifer Lawrence, because I, I love her and stuff, and then people are like, but, but what does Kate think? What does Kate think? And it's like, well, actually, we're not together. And so there's that aspect of it as well. So I've got all you guys coming at me, and, and in my live streams as well, it's like I can't really communicate with, with you in the live because it's all about this situation, and I just thought I'd clear it up. We're not together. It ended on mutual terms, and we're, we're a lot more happier um, as, as friends and family than we were when we were together. And that's it. No drama. It just ended. It wasn't working, and it, we ended it. That's it. I'm sorry it's not Hollywood enough, but that's, that's what happened. And I, as far as I'm concerned, I just like that to be the end of it. Do you know what I mean? Like, just, let's move forward now into 2018. So, I'm glad I could address that. Um... So, other things, guys. Mo moving on, like I say, to 2018. I am putting together... I'm actually going today to pick up a bike. Uh, I've been putting this together now with my friend Will uh, for a while. We are cycling from the United Kingdom to the Eiffel Tower in Paris uh, in May. And we're going to be doing it for mental health. We're going to be uh, opening up a page soon where people can donate and sponsor us. And we can raise some money for mental health. I'm going to document the whole journey. Uh, it's going to be hilarious because, you know, I'm the most unfittest guy <laughs> that you'll ever see. So, me cycling to Paris and the finishing line is underneath the Eiffel Tower. Uh, and we hope to complete the entire journey within about three days, which is it's challenging. It's pushing it, but, you know, it should make for great video content and anything that uh, I can do for charity as well would be great. So more news on that. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram for all those sort of updates and where you can donate when we pick the charity we're going to be cycling for. That's happening in May, which I think is going to be great. Merch. Holy shit, the merch. You guys have been driving me crazy asking me about the merch. The merch is almost here. And, as you, and this is what the shop is going to look like. There are so many cool items. You guys are loving the hoodies. I'm really going all out on this one, guys. And the response has been amazing. The response to the Daz merch, the Tea Party merch, has been outstanding. You guys are so excited, and so am I. I've also got confirmation uh, that I'm going to be at Summer in the City at August this year. Um, they got in touch with me. They haven't announced it. I don't even know if I'm allowed to announce it yet. But fuck it. <laughs> I'm going to Summer and City again this year, and it'd be great if I could see all you guys down there. It's in August. Um, really looking forward to that. It's always the highlight of my year, Summer in the City. I always have such a great time. Um, I planned to do three, four-hour meetups um, every single day for, like, three days. Um, I got, I'm got. i going to have, like, my merch stand there and stuff. Like, we're, we're setting it up big. Like, we're, you know, I'm I'm going <laughs> to... I'm going to be fucked by the end of it. <laughs> But I'm doing it for you guys. I love to meet all you guys. And you, if you've ever been to one of my meetups, you know that I don't leave until it's empty. And there's not one person left. Um, which sometimes could run into like five hours or so. But as long as they feed me water and tea, it's all good. <laughs> I got a few more Daz watches in the pipeline. Like I say, I've been setting up like this cycling event and dealing with my merch line. And like, 
I've uh, just, you know, if I need to take time away to do other stuff, just remember it's always for you guys. I'm always thinking about the channel and what I can do. And then to make up for it, I'm always live streaming and stuff. So make sure you got my notifications on because a lot of you guys keep complaining you're missing the live streams and stuff. So if you have my notifications on, guys, uh, then you'll, you'll, uh, you should be notified when I'm live. Games. Uh, let's talk about games for a second. I uh, I am gonna bring more games back to the channel. I am missing it. It's been uh, a Daz Watches marathon for a while now. Everyone is coming at me saying, "Play horror games. Play horror games." And um, I am looking into. It. I know there's like Resident Evil Seven DLC and and this game called Granny. People keep asking me to play this game called Granny. I'm looking into it. I really I started getting tired of um, horror games that would just find a bit of paper and boo jump scare. Like, I got used to them, and I don't like to fake my reactions, as you know, so I, I just stopped playing weak, cheap indie horror games. But there are a few horrors that I've been emailed about that I've got codes for, so expect a little bit more gaming coming your way. Uh, and, and whilst we're on the topic of gaming, let's talk about The Sims. Uh, let's let's cover that one uh, briefly. Um, I stopped it again, guys, and I do apologise, but I, I tried it again, I gave it my all. I'm not enjoying it. I, I, I feel like I've rinsed it. And I just, I don't like to sit there going, oh my god, uh, another baby. Ah. Ah. <laughs> I, I'm not, I don't know, it doesn't get me anymore. And if they release a Sims 5, a, a new Sims game, I'll play it. So yeah, I'm always listening to you guys and um, always looking at all the requests and stuff. So don't worry, um, more videos in the pipeline. I'm so driven this year. It's crazy. I've never been so self-motivated and driven, like, uh, in my life. I've lost, I've lost so much weight. Uh, I feel better. I feel the channel is just doing so well. Your guys' support is, is everything. Thank you all again for your support on Clickbait. Uh, the song is doing so well. And if you haven't seen the new music video yet, it's, it's on the channel. Go look for it. It's, uh, it's, uh, pretty lit, as the kids would say. Maybe there's another music project in the works. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what it could be. Like, love, caress my channel. I love you all. Thank you so much. And I will see you in the next video. Stay dazzling. Ha! <laughs>